Today I'm gonna be opening up a $50 mystery box versus a $500 mystery box. I need to stop taking airdrop deliveries. As you guys can see, there's a massive difference between the $50 mystery box and the $500 one. We're gonna see which one of these has the best bang for your buck. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with our $50 mystery box. I have no idea what to expect out of here, but I did just crack this one open, so it's ready to go. Um, let's see if we get the best bang for your buck from this one or maybe from the $500 one. I have no idea, but we are going to start off in here, and it looks like... Okay, so I know what this first thing is right off the bat. We do have a Flareon uh, tin here. These are a pretty recent release, and there's probably some more modern Sword and Shield sets in that, so that'll be cool to check out. But then we also have, like, this black sort of like bubble mailer bag and that's the only two things in there get that out of the way and um i really want to see what's in here i have no idea maybe graded cards loose cards maybe some packs i i i, I have no idea let's find out though um hmm. feels like loose cards it feels like a lot of loose cards oh i'm completely wrong it feels, it's it's booster packs okay cool so let's check it out first we got ooh a pokemon 25 train on sticker that's pretty cool i've never seen these um, it also looks like we have, yo, an Evolving Sky sticker. That's also pretty awesome. And then a bunch of packs, which tricked me. I thought that they were going to be cards for a second. We have Vivid Voltage. We have Fusion Strike. We have Sword Shield Base. is pretty solid. Um, okay, we have the uh, Pokemon McDonald's um, booster pack as well. It's pretty cool to see. Sun and Moon Base, not bad either. Darkness Ablaze. And a Rebel Clash. We got a really nice variety of uh, packs here. They're all completely different. All right, not bad. So we got about $49 in value. It's pretty much spot on to $50 um, in value or, or kind of like what we paid on the box. I like getting sealed items out of these uh, mystery boxes because it's really fun to open up on the channel. Um, and the variety is pretty nice in here. So got a Luxray Hollow out of that pack. I'd say that was definitely a fair deal for sure. Definitely got your money's worth on that uh, this mystery box right here for 50 bucks. Wigglytuff non-hollow. And we have Sun and Moon base set. Um, I think this is like a three or four dollar sort of like um, value pack here. Incineroar non-hollow as well. Not getting too many hits yet, but let's see what happens. Moving into our McDonald's. We do have the Charmander hollow. Nice. Oh my god, there's another Charmander. Oh dude, this is a fire pack. This is actually the definition of a fire pack. All right, we got Sword and Shield base set up next. Let's see if we get a hit out of this pack. Start off with the Minchino. We got a Haunter Reverse and a Sinchino. Nice. All right, the most recent set, or at least as of the recording of this, is Fusion Strike. Let's see if we can get that Gengar full art out of here. And it's Sending Scorch Nighthawk doing pretty bad on the pulls. Pretty bad. But we do have Vivid Voltage to end it off for our first lot of packs that we got here. Can we get a hit out of this one? Oh, a Dustnor regular hollow hit. Next up, we got this Flareon tin. Get this gorgeous card in there. Code card. And the packs that we get are going to be nice. So we actually got... Four different sets in here as well, so tons of different booster packs. Let's start off with another set that we have not opened up yet. Uh, we're going to move into Evolving Skies. So, can we get a big hit? Ooh, and Noivern V, our first V card hit. Chilling Rain, do you have the goods for us? Let's find out right now. Come on. We need something as a full art or better. Weevil, regular hollow hit. All right, Battle Styles and Sword and Shield base set are the final two booster packs from our $50 mystery box let's get a big hit come on thank you tapu coco v max finally and our final booster pack is going to be another sword and shield base set let's see if we can crush through it and maybe get one more big hit a storm reverse and a regular hollow hit it is time for the 500 dollar mystery box let's see how this one is we got our protective shipping paper and we got a ton of goods in here let's see what we got nice we got a sword and shield battle styles poster boom shining fates galarian mr rhyme i'm definitely gonna open this one up we got a v battle deck it is the tyranitar tin nice we're gonna open this as well all right let's open up our first batch of items here <laughs> so you're telling me we got a shot at the shiny charizard hey listen I take every shot I could get. As you guys may or may not know, my wife pulled the shiny Charizard V Max out of the first pack that she opened up ever, ever, and it was out of my tin. We got the Mr. Rhyme Hollow, the Mr. Rhyme Pin, and now we got three shots at a shiny Charizard. I will take those. I will take those odds any day. I still need to pull it. It would be so sick to pull it during this video. I don't think it's gonna happen, but hey, you can wish. Weezing regular Hollow, and so far, just so you guys know, we have sixty dollars of value out of this box. Um, and you know, we still have a ton more stuff left. So let's see what we get out of this next. Oh, we got a shiny. Nice. I'll take a regular shiny and Luxray Hollow right behind it. And then we got one more pack. I don't know if there's going to be any more Shining Fates in this entire mystery box. So 
Let's hope that this one has something nice. Professor's Research and Eon Mega Non Hollow. All right, we got our tin next. Let's see what we can get. I'm not going to open up that V Battle deck because you guys have probably already seen that a million times. We got an awesome Tyranitar V card. Ooh, and then we got five booster packs, and there's a lot of good stuff in here. Let's crush right through these and see if these packs are going to be luckier than the other ones that we had in the $50 pack. We got a regular Hollow. Darkness of Blaze, I have yet to pull this other Charizard from this set since the set actually dropped like so long ago. Uh, it'd be cool to pull it, but oh, there we go. We got Muck, though. Vivid Voltage. I don't even need to tell you guys what I want to pull out of this set. Let's go. C Dot, Joltik Weedle, and a Don Fan regular non hollow. Not too lucky on the regular pack so far today, but hey, that's the name of the game, right? We got a Horsey Reverse and a non hollow out of that one. And then we got one more Battle Styles booster pack. And then we're going to keep digging through this box and see what else we got. Cladle, non hollow. Ooh, this looks interesting. This is a tin, but it was opened up. And it's just stuffed with goodies, it looks like. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, yeah, we've opened one of these packs up before. Actually, this is from the same seller, Pokemon Plug, where we got a mystery box around two weeks ago. So we got one of those packs. Ooh, we got Japanese Fusion Strike. I've never opened up the Japanese version. Sun and Moon base set. Let's take all this stuff out and see what happens. Ooh, okay. Let me do it like this. We got a train on 25th anniversary. Oh, we can put this on the tree. We can put this right on the tree in the background. Um, what else do we have? Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay, we got the Charizard VMAX on here. Nice, some more 25th anniversary stuff. We got a little badge. Oh, and a pin. I actually really like this. Right, let's flip this over and keep going through. We got Sword Shield base. We got Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash. Ooh, Chilling Rain. Oh, and evolutions. Let's go. Beautiful. All right, let's start crushing through these booster packs. So far, we got about $115 value out of this mystery box. Nice card there. And then Fusion Strike Japanese. Uh, I don't know the exact name of it in Japanese, but I do know I've never opened it before in Japanese. So let's see what we got. Totodile. It's so cool. Oh, okay. That's very, very cool. We got a full art out of our first pack. Nice. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Let's find out. Okay. Uh, I think it was like the second to last card in there. Snom, Geodude. Nope, nothing in that one. Let's start crushing through these English packs now. We got Sun and Moon base set. Maybe these are the packs that are going to bring us the goods. Bruxious non hollow. Sword and Shield base set up next. All right. The luck's got to turn around in the English packs sooner or later. I mean, we're getting the hollows, you know, so that means we're getting the green and white code cards, but uh, they're not. They don't have the hits in them. Applin. I want to see what else is in this mystery box because right now. Like I said, we're about $115 in value. Obviously, that's if we kept everything as was out of the box, which we're not doing. But um, that's the value that we got so far. So there should be a lot more stuff in this mystery box to look forward to. I mean, there definitely is. Um, when I was trying to grab stuff out, I did see like it looked like a padded envelope in the back there um, that was kind of tucked away. That could have like a bunch of, who knows, maybe graded cards, maybe... Uh, Loose cards. I mean, sky's the limit, really. There we go. H slash V Max full art. Okay, finally. English packs. This is where it all turns around because we do have evolutions. I mean, evolutions could just be a home run out of one pack. Next pack, Arcanine, non hollow It's a nice artwork, though. Chilling Rain, and then we're going to see what we have in that evolutions booster pack. Chilling Rain, give me an alt art, maybe? Maybe not. That was too much to ask for. All right, this could be really cool. I mean, you're guaranteed to get at least one hit, whether it's a reverse or a break card or something. Charmander, Psychic, Pikachu, Growlithe, Machop, Misty's Determination, Reverse. Oh, Dragonite EX. I love that EX card. And let's keep digging. Ooh, there we go. Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. We also have the Pikachu VMAX Premium Collection Box. Two Build and Battle Boxes, Battle Styles, and Fusion Strike. And then we do have four booster packs of Fusion Strike. We got four of these uh, brand new set just released. Uh, I'm hoping I can get that Gengar one of these days. Sent to Scorch non hollow. All right. Let's see if one of these, just, just give me one of these with a cool alt, alt artwork. That's a lot to ask for, though, honestly. Hollow in that one. Alt artworks are very difficult to pull. I mean, I don't even know if you're, you're definitely not even guaranteed to pull one out of an entire booster box of 36 packs. So, I mean, I'm asking for it out of one of these. Building battle boxes. Although I have the weirdest luck with building battle boxes. I feel like they always give me at least one good hit. Two regular hollows. I changed my mind. You know what? I'm going to keep the battle styles sealed uh, because I've opened one of these before already. Okay, ready? I have a really cool idea for this celebrations box and the Pikachu statue box. All right. I believe this is almost 20 booster packs of celebrations 
and I just turned it into one giant pack so you guys don't have to wait through all that stuff. We're going to go right through it and see if we could just get the craziest celebration hits out of this uh, th this pack, I guess you want to call it. Don Fan Prime card, nice. Pikachu base. This is wild because each pack only has a few cards. Rocket Zabdos from um, the subset in there, the classic collection. Kyogre, Groudon, we got Lugia, Mew. Code cards are going out, everything's going out. This is nuts. This is nuts. Flying Pikachu V Max full art. We got Lugia. There we go. Birthday Pikachu. Soul Galio. We got Xerneas. Kyogre. Oh, there is the Blastoise. Can we just like complete the entire set through uh, just opening these packs up? Xerneas. We got Dialga. Zekrom. Flying Pikachu V. We got our code card Dialga Palkia. Ho oh. Is there going to be any Charizards in here or Umbreon Gold Star or Gold Mew? That would be pretty cool to see. I mean,. Maybe we can get one of those. Reshiram, we got Flying Pikachu. Code card. This is insane. Venusaur now. Oh, it has like a little print. Oh, it has whoa, it has a bunch of them. You see that? I've never seen that before. Two like white circles on this. We got Blastoise. We got Venusaur. Can we get Charizard to go with them? We need all three. Gotta have all three. Reshiram, Groudon, Groudon, um, Team Magma card. Zekrom, Kyogre, Reshiram. We got Soul Galia. Code card. Palkia, this is this, this is just crazy. Lunala, code card, Groudon, we got ho -Oh. There we go, another Rocket Zapdos. There's the Surf and Pikachu. We're almost through these packs. That's like the quickest celebrations opening probably ever. Groudon, Surf and Pikachu again. Code card, almost there. Can we get one more big hit? We're, we're literally on the last pack, I think. Rocket Zapdos, you always pull that card. And another code card. <laughs> Alright, I thought I would do that because celebrations, the packs, you have to open up each one and there's like four cards in the pack and it just like takes forever. Oh, there we go. Nice. We are back on track. Blaziken VMAX alternate artwork. The Kung Fu Blaziken. That was worth it. Oh, we got three Darkness of Blaze packs in a row too. So yeah, this is from the Celebrations Elite Trainer Box as well as that big Pikachu VMAX um, collection box just all together. So three Darkness of Blaze packs. And then, um, yeah, so we got $274 of value so far. We're just talking about how this stuff came out of the box. Scizor V, but there's not a ton left. Although there is this, like, big bubble mailer type thing that's in there that could have a lot of value in it. We're going to find out right after these packs and see how we end up on our $500 mystery box here. Again, I'm not counting, like, the hits per se towards the actual box value obviously because we're just looking at how everything came through in that box all right so three more packs here vivid voltage battle styles and chilling rain let's see vivid what do you got for us amazing rare nope nothing amazing in that pack battle styles and then chilling rain maybe we can get one more big hit out of these two packs not out of that one now i'm very curious to see what is in that bubble mailer type thing that we got in that mystery box Rock Rough, Porygon, Lapras, ooh, Gengar Hollow, I love that card. Hey, we have the other two Evolution Tins, nice, Jolteon and Vaporeon. And then what is this? Yo, this is heavy. You guys, probably, obviously you can't feel it, uh, it's, it's on camera, but this is heavy, guys. This is like five, six pounds at least. That is all that's in there, so this is going to be pretty cool to see what's in this padded envelope. The big question is what is in here, but these right now are actually the packs that we got from the Evolutions tins. Um, the Jolteon and the Vaporeon. So I say we see we get a couple big hitters before we jump into this um, padded envelope and just see if we can end it with a couple big hitters before we get to this big mystery reveal here because we're at $314 right now in value uh, from everything that we pulled out of this box, which leaves quite a lot of value to catch up to $500. And I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of value in that for that reason, as well as the fact that um, it's just really heavy like I don't know what could be in that like I'm, I'm I have no idea um we're gonna see though Gengar reverse it's like surprisingly heavy I would say uh for for what it is but we got four more packs man striking out but I mean that's what it is with the main series set sword and shield era it's just like hey here's celebrations you guys can have well this is upside down okay is it like upside down the whole thing upside down coughing shop it Okay, yeah. Oh, now we're back. We're back. Okay. Uh, reverse. And then Sandaconda V. Not bad. But yeah, it's like celebrations. Here's the hits. Shining Fates will throw you hits. Then when you start getting to the main sets, like, well, 
We'll give you one hit out of your out of your uh, booster box here. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, okay. All right. Let's see what the big reveal is in this padded envelope thing. Bolton, regular hollow. All right, and the moment of truth. I got to be careful with the blade there. Um, I don't want to cut anything, which I might have. Hopefully, I didn't. It's not that sharp. Let's see. The first. Oh! Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> Booster box of fusion strike. That's why it was so heavy. It confused me on the, how the actual thing was like shaped. It felt like one big thing. And then it's this probably, yeah, this is going to be another booster box. What is it? We have, ooh, a vivid voltage booster box. So in total, we got around $514 in value on this $500 mystery box. I would say both of these are pretty much spot on. The cool thing I really liked about them is the fact that you actually get really like good stuff in them you know what i mean like it's all sealed stuff it wasn't like just junk thrown in there because you could easily throw a bunch of junk in a mystery box and say it's 500 bucks but you got 500 bucks of junk but guys i got one more thing before you leave for everybody that made it to the end of this video i have a special surprise for you guys i'm actually going to give away both of these booster boxes. so literally the only way you would have known this is if you made it to the end of the video that's one good reason why you should always watch through the entire video i mean besides the fact that it helps the channel a lot all right so if you would like to try to be one of two lucky winners for these booster boxes all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, subscribe to the channel. And number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know that you made it to the end of the video. And let me know what your favorite item was from this mystery box. As always, I announce winners every Tuesday. With that is going to do it again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun opening up the $50 mystery box versus the $500 mystery box. Which one of these you think won or which one you think overall was the better value? But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one.